So hi there, I'm Melissa Camp in Glendale, Arizona, and I'm here at my uh, new build, and I'm doing a pre-wall, uh, pre-drywall inspection to just see what's going on behind the drywall, because once the drywall goes up, I can no longer see what's going on. So I'm here, I'm checking out the insulation, and so far I'm not real impressed. Uh, there are a lot of gaps, it is not even, it's, um, some places it's higher or lower than other places, and I really want it to be the same amount of insulation throughout in every single wall in the house. So I brought um, just a little pin here and it's hard to see but I've colored the top of it blue. So I'm going to stick it in the insulation to actually measure how deep it is in certain parts. So I'm going to try to move my computer here while I'm doing this. Sorry for the light of the window. But I'm going to go ahead and stick it into the insulation here. I can see that it's not close to being where it needs to be. Well actually this is pretty good. That is six inches worth. Maybe there's more. It's just not that even. Uh, let's try it down here and see. It's just much deeper in some places. It is still at least six inches, which is good. I can tell because I actually measured this. If I had something a little bit longer, I could measure more accurately how it is. But I don't know if you can see just how bumpy it is. I'd really like to see the insulation come all the way out here to the wood, just like the rest of the other walls in the house. If you take a look around, a lot of the other walls are pretty even. I mean, there's some bumps, but as you can see, as I'm checking the insulation, like right here, this is going to be a hole that is here forever. I can stick my finger through there. So that's something that obviously we, we definitely need to get fixed. All of this insulation throughout the home should really match up. It should be even throughout. And if it's not, then I'm going to have pockets of air coming in, possible air infiltration, which is going to make the bills definitely go up in Arizona. And then you can also get pests inside too. So if they don't really foam and foam evenly and foam correctly, we could have some future problems down the street that we would never have known about had we not done a pre-drywall inspection. You can even see some of the foam in this room. It's just getting a little bit messy and we need it to be completely even. So here we go, let's keep going on our inspection. Right, now, I just finished looking at the uh, insulation, the spray foam insulation. One of the reasons I actually went with this builder, I'm gonna show you really quick, is because they actually put the spray foam insulation uh, up in the attic. So I'm gonna shoot my camera up. It's kind of hard to see up there in the attic. But they sprayed that spray foam right along the roof deck and that's one of the reasons that I chose to use this builder. Um, the next thing that, because it, it does make a really big difference when you have a cathedralized attic, and you put that spray foam up against the roof deck, your attic is way less hot. So I chose this builder because they spend the extra money to do that as standard practice, and I think that really says a lot about their product. Next thing I want to check room by room are the mechanical. Uh, I'm looking at the ductwork. I want to make sure that the fans um, are all taped and mastic properly, um, and that the metal claws are folded down. So if you see right above me, there is one of them. You can see the metal claws folded down. But I essentially just went room by room. I'm going to give you shots of the, <laughs> the attic here, but I, or the, the ceiling, excuse me, uh, room by room to just check all of these ducts. I photographed each and every one of them in every room, and I just want to make sure that they are properly secured because if they're not, then your air conditioning is going to be going up into your attic and you're going to be wasting a lot of money with an inefficient uh, envelope. So you got to check all of those ducts before the uh, drywall is putting. Right. It is sure hot out here. I'm melting a little bit. Um, but nevertheless, I am standing up at the top of my ladder uh, just so I, could ex I, I can inspect around all of the windows. We want to make sure that the insulation around the windows is complete and full and there's no gaps. I'm not going to be able to see that from the ground. So I'm about two steps up on a, a little ladder here and I just notice there are holes at the top. I can visibly see the holes. Um, I'm going to ask that the builder fill those in. Otherwise, these windows are forever going to be leaky. So I'm checking each and every window around the home. And if they are uh, leaky, I'm going to ask that the builder completely seal them with foam so I cannot see any gaps and it's all even. All right, here I go again. I can't help myself, but uh, I'm glad I got up here. I'm now at the back door. I'm looking at the top. You can see the spray foam, spray foam, spray foam. Oops, what happened down there? We've got almost a foot of uh, missing spray foam there above the door. Again, wouldn't have seen this unless I brought my ladder today. Hopefully, this is a very easy and quick fix. But we just want to make sure our envelope is super sealed so I don't need such a big solar system. So let's get this door foamed in, top, bottom, sides, everywhere. All right, so I'm here back in the bathroom. 
And the thing I want to check in here, um, not only do I want to check the insulation, and I want to make sure all of these boxes are insulated and that there are no big gaps, such as this gap that I can almost reach my hand through or this gap down at the bottom, but also these little uh, blue things on the pipes. This is actually insulation. So I was looking to make sure that all of my pipes are insulated, uh, and it looks to me that they are. Um, the other thing that I wanted to check was to make sure that the bathtub was fully foamed underneath it. Um, unfortunately, I cannot tell from the exterior. Um, it's already being ready to be stuck out here. But I can see still from the inside here that they did at least put some of the insulation back here behind the bathtub. This is the back of the shower surround. And then right here, that's to the exterior. All right, um, just about wrapping up here. Um, I just had my kids through the front real quick and I was pointing out some things that maybe I should point out to you because maybe you don't know either. Um, one of the things about new construction that's different than uh, existing construction is the spacing between the framing. So this is two by six construction. Uh, instead of two by four. And this has two benefits. The first benefit being that we don't need as much lumber because we have uh, six feet rather than four feet. And the other benefit being that we can put insulation in, uh, more insulation in, to keep the house uh, more insulated. And again, behind me, here's one of those, those walls. We definitely want to fill all of those gaps. So I'm going to be asking the construction manager to go ahead and and work on that. Back out here at the construction site, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is when you're doing your pre-drywall uh, inspection, you should also inspect the exterior. So what you want to do is take a look, make sure anything that's outside uh, is going to be properly sealed. So we're not going to have air infiltration uh, like over here. I'm not even sure which water line that is. Here's a waste line. We just want to make sure that there's no air infiltration come coming in and out. Same thing with the outlets back here. We want to seal all of these different penetrations throughout the house. There's the condensate uh, air conditioning trap drop. You've got a water spigot back here. And again, I'm just looking to make sure that everything looks good, that it's nice and sealed and there's no air infiltration that can possibly get in. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Melissa Camp in Glendale, Arizona.